Welcome all my YouTube subscribers and fans alike. Well this is just a little update I wanted to do on my long term slash short term grow. As you can see I've removed the entire garden, put it in a small part of the yard right next to the garage and between me and the neighbors. And now everything's a little more spread out, still cleaning up out here, making it just look a little bit better, more organized to get to. As you see we got them spread out everywhere. We've got right here, these are all nothing but the grapefruit seedlings. They go from down there all the way across in these trays. All this up here, I still got a little bit more to go. Let's see if we can get that. We got a little bit more left in there to transplant. Unfortunately, when I did, I have uh, moved some of these into the cups. As you can see, a couple of them have died out, and that was my fault due to a watering issue. Uh, I've probably lost maybe about 10 of them, give or take. Next time I'll just be a little bit more careful. But I ended up moving everything out here and uh, took a shish kebab skewer, a little wooden one, and punched holes on the bottom of the cups, provide good drainage. I've done the same for all the two liters. But the two liters I ended up making a little tool. Let's see if we can get this on. A little simple tool is a little piece of wood I found in the garage. I cut it down, put a pounder to nail into it, made it nice and sharp. Pokes at the bottom, I poke five little holes in the bottom. It drains the lid, it allows the two liters to drain out perfectly. After looking around, <clears throat> let's see if we can get this. I've realized, let's see if we can get it. I can't believe it. I've actually got some cayennes to grow. There's about three or four started there. What else do we got to grow out here? Tomatoes. I've actually got, these are the regular red tomatoes. There's five here. There's a total of five on this plant. There's one there and the other four there. There's, uh, let me see which one's which. That's the Cherokee purple tomato right here haven't got nothing to grow on it yet this is the black creme it's a I believe it's like a heritage type tomato haven't got nothing yet on that one this is the Mexican it's a Mexican style pepper I can't pronounce the name uh, let's see if we can focus in on what's left of the little card I don't know if you can see that well or not but this is what this one's called it's a pepper. Uh, that one looks like it might be doing something soon. Let's see if we can zoom out. We got little flowers and stuff on this one. This is the sweet banana pepper. And what else we got? The jalapeno. Oh, uh, yes, the jalapeno. I forgot all about it. <clears throat> on the jalapeno one, we do got... We do have a pepper somewhere. Ah, there we go. Good old jalapeno. There's one. And these right here will turn into some more. And there's more flowers and all that. You know, getting back into gardening. Still learning about everything. Realized uh, the flowers on the pepper plants. That's where the actual pepper comes from. Let's get back to this part. See, we got a bunch of oranges here. There's lemon, orange mix. Two different varieties of oranges more lemons we walk down you got there's a apple there's another red apple right there and there these are all mangoes all the way down there's a nice apple what else we got right here that's all mangoes and the grapefruit starts here and I haven't labeled these yet but I'll do that probably tonight after work well, alright YouTube this is just an update uh, there's gonna be a couple more videos to come I'll definitely get with y'all y'all have a good one thank you for watching since please subscribe